Hi friend, Kat Clausen here. Welcome to my studio. So over my shoulder you can see Mr. Lincoln and he's all done. I now have the bright red background on the right and the left side. And I've given this piece a title. It's called, It's Always Love. Now, there's a story behind that phrase and it goes back to the 90s. So I was in the back of my house and the TV was on and all of a sudden I got this urgent feeling that I was to run out and see what was on. And so I did, I ran to the TV and Charles Gibson was there. He was interviewing a famous artist and this artist was painting figurative pieces on the backs of jean jackets. And Charles said, so what's the concept? And the artist quickly responded, it's always love. So I thought, wow, what am I supposed to get out of this? Am I supposed to paint on clothes? And I thought, no, it's really not that literal. I, I think it's the love part. It's always love. So I created an entire collection of paintings, maybe 20, all with the umbrella title, It's Always Love. And those all sold and went into homes. And I wasn't quite sure what I was to do with it after that. But the more I thought about it, I realized it's not so much what I paint, it's how I do it. So it's expressing love in, in the everyday. Whether I'm with someone talking, listening, painting, gardening, walking the dog, talk, you know, on the phone, it's, it's how we do it. Now, Lincoln was a very good listener. He understood that paying attention to people was vital. And he spent 75% of his time as president listening to people. Back in the day, you could go to the White House and wait in the East Room for the president, make an appointment, and go in. You could talk about your grief, your joy, perhaps policy, and Mr. Lincoln would listen very closely. And that's how he was able to be such a great leader. He really listened to people. He cared about people. And bottom line, Lincoln loved people. So once again, I'm going to end it this way. It's always love.